You're watching Connect the World live from the CNN Centre. Welcome back. I'm Linda Kincaid. London landmarks have turned pink this weekend to welcome the news that Prince George has a little sister. We're still waiting to hear her name, but already London and the rest of the world are buzzing about the newest member of the royal family. At 8.34 a.m. on Saturday, the Duchess of Cambridge gave birth to a girl. Some royal fans were camped outside the hospital for days waiting for that announcement. Well, wishes caught a glimpse of the baby before Prince William drove his family home to celebrate. CNN's Erin McLaughlin is outside Buckingham Palace and joins us live now. And Erin, tell us about how everyone's feeling today, the day after such wonderful news there in London. Hi, Linda. Well, people here in London are so excited, and today it was all about a small party at Kensington Palace where the new princess spent her first night. Visits from the grandparents, Prince Charles and Camilla, arrived, as did Kate's parents, Carol and Michael Middleton. Uh, Kate's sister, Pippa, was there as well. Absent, though, uh, was the queen. She did not visit the baby at Kensington Palace today. She spent the day at her estate in Sandringham, which uh, incidentally is very close to Amner Hall, which was a gift from the Queen to William and Kate. That's where they're expected to take their new princess next. So it seems likely that the Queen will be meeting uh, her new great granddaughter. Well, congratulations are rolling in from around the world, and London is an London's most iconic landmarks are awash in pink, celebrating the birth of a royal baby girl. Outside the hospital, cheers for the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge and their second child's big debut. That's fantastic. They've completed their family, boy, girl. Outside Buckingham Palace, an announcement steeped in history, placed on the very same easel used to announce the birth of Princes William and George. Well-wishers from around the world lined up to see it. It's getting dark, it's pretty cold, but take a look at that line. It curls right around the corner. The party continued in Bucklebury, the Middleton's hometown. To have a princess is just, you know, Kate will be over the moon. And congratulations rolled in from around the world, from British Prime Minister David Cameron to U.S. President Barack Obama. And just outside London, Queen Elizabeth was seen smiling ear to ear. We know the royal family are overjoyed to have a little girl as their new princess. Prince Charles, he said he wanted a granddaughter. We know that Diana wanted a daughter. And the Queen today, those fabulous pictures of her in pink, looking overjoyed. It's a new princess, and maybe one day she'll be queen. All in celebration of a little girl who may very well become the world's most famous princess. And there is so much speculation right now about the name for the baby, which has yet to be announced. That's not unusual. It took William and Kate two days to announce the name of Prince George, so we may have to wait a little bit longer. Uh, so what are the punters betting on? Last time we spoke, it was Alice or Charlotte, and a few others have been suggested, like Olivia and Samantha. <laughs> that's that's right, Linda. The bookies are saying that there's been a surge in popularity, a surge in bets for the name Charlotte, uh, as well as Olivia in particular. But Charlotte now seeming to be tied uh, with punters uh, with Alice. Uh, other names that are being talked about: uh, Queen uh, Victoria in honor of Queen Victoria, uh, as well as Elizabeth in honor of Queen Elizabeth. But you know, so much speculation. We're really just going to have to wait and see. And of course, as we expected, her pretty little face has graced the cover of many newspapers around the world today. And clearly in the UK, she is, uh, she is on the front cover of every paper there. That's right. This baby is making headlines. And the first of many photo ops we saw yesterday and this princess's face is splashed across the papers here in Britain. Let me just show you uh, a few examples of some of the front pages. Here's the cover of this sleeping 
And we seem to have lost the link there to Erin, but some great reporting there on the new little princess. And uh, the new addition to the royal family, understandably, has dominated the headlines in the UK, but we're just days away from the highly anticipated elections in the country. The latest poll puts Labor and Conservative parties neck and neck. And as the campaign reaches fever pitch, we hear from British voters as they prepare to cast their ballot on Thursday. Hello from London. Hi, this is London. I will be voting because last time I think I made a mistake, so this time I intend to put it right. I think every vote counts, so one's got to vote. The party that I'm voting for, I do support their policies, especially on immigration, because I'm an immigrant. I'm in a constituency that's been conservative the whole time I've lived there, so unfortunately it does feel like my vote isn't, isn't worth anything but I still feel you should, uh, you know, put forward your right to vote. I'll be voting some of my voice could be heard within the government, and I'll be able to um, get jury service and probably get help with my mortgage when I do finally move out of my parents' house. I think it's really important for young people and everyone in general just to have their voice heard and to hopefully make a difference and make it count. I think my vote's going to make a difference because that's why women died for a vote like mine. So I hope my vote will make a difference. Uh, I'm looking to push the country into the future. I'm looking to really push England in the right direction. And that vote is looking like it will be one of the closest in decades. CNN is the place for extensive coverage. We will be live all this week and special coverage Thursday from when the first votes are cast to when a new government takes shape. That's right here on CNN.